welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms we are with the experiment based on the dynamic open theory at experiment number second to obtain the frequency response curve of single degree of freedom system of vibrating system for the different amount of damping now look at the what is the objective of this experiment to obtain the frequency response curve for single degree of freedom system for the different amount of damping so what is outcome behind this to understand what are the variation of the frequency response curve for single degree of freedom system for the different amount of damping now introductions what is the damping here uh, in the damping that is the resistance to the motions of the oscillatory systems so it effect the reducing the oscillations which is shown in the graph so what are the types are available with us that is the dry frictions viscous frictions structural frictions slip or interfacial frictions so dry friction means what there is a friction is exist at the contact of the system that's why it is known as what dry friction or the coulomb damping viscous means what viscosity of the fluid which create the resistance to the uh, velocity or the motion that is called a viscous damping structural damping this type of the um, the because of the internal frictions are available at the molecules okay and adala that is slip or interfacial damping the energy of vibration is dissipated some gradually with the dissipation of energy and it create the uh, the resistance to the motions of your flux during that particular fluctuating load now what are the damping systems are available that is over damp critical damp under damp and on damp over damp it goes to return its uh, equilibrium conditions without oscillations so within once one way it goes to its uh, original conditions critical damp it quickly returns to its uh, original condition without oscillation that is a door damper you can say that third that is under damp situations so the whatever oscillation is there it goes to its original condition but with some oscillations and with some uh, time interval on damp it does not goes to its equilibrium positions but it's a natural frequency of that particular vibrations typically graph of systems that is being pink shows the strong damping the vibration is goes on decreasing green shows the critical damp it goes to its original conditions after some time uh, that is undamped situations throughout its uh, experiment or against the time it's uh, nearly same the amplitude then again the under damp situations the frequency of oscillation or amplitude goes on decreasing now these are the camp, uh, the components are available damper assembly stud system are there bracket holder are there strip chart sketch pin beam pipe are available so this is simple layout layout shows the damper system unbalanced mass pain recorder quite simpler one this is the experimental procedure we have to arrange it is dc motor some amplitude we have to adjust and uh, take the three readings that is the uh, under damp situations variation in the damping and with that particular plot the graph is quite simpler the observations we have to see in that length of suspension is 100 cm diameter of shaft that is 3 mm weight of disc 3.81 diameter of disc 22.4 molar surface is 0.8 tens to 6 newton per mm square so this is the particular graph that we have got after the some experiment the when one hole is matching the different amount of damping that is maximum uh, amplitude we have got means what some less damping then again the two hole match means what again there is a less uh, the maximum um, uh, damping we have provided less amplitude we have got nevertheless that is a, a three hole close means what the damping will be more the amplitude will be less now this is a conclusion that the damping increases with amplitude of vibrations decreases means what the damping when damping is increases the amplitude of the total system is being goes on decreasing so this is all about the total experiment quite simpler one there is no uh, calculation is required only the observations are required during that experiment so thank you to all